Hello guys, welcome to my video of Power System Simulation Part 2. In our last video of Part 1, we have made a model which looks like this. So, what will be my final step? My final step is to solve this uh, network. To solve this network, I will go for Power Flow, then Solutions, then I'll go for Solve. Alright, uh, for load flow solutions, I got lots of options uh, in which I, ha I have select fixed slope. Uh, for detailed options, you can watch my new video, uh, which will give you a brief uh, advantages and disadvantages of different type of solutions. Like uh, either I have to go for Gauss Seidel or I have to go for Newton Raphson or full Newton Raphson. So for this video I'm going directly to solve this network alright I have solved this network okay what we have to check after solving the network you can check that in output bar it shows the summary of uh, swing bus and uh, the second thing that you have to check it should be mat converge in your status bar it should not be iteration limit it should not be blown up if you see other options uh, rather than mat converge you will be not getting your correct results so what is decided mat converge tolerance should be written here in status bar when you are solving the network alright let's come back to the network now in this network uh, you can see there are some uh, tags written 8 4.0 if I check on bus 1 so what does it mean uh, that means uh, there is a megawatt flow on top and megawatt flow on below uh, that is uh, on your below than each transmission line or generator uh, how I come came to know that uh, this is uh, this is the right uh, I want to do some uh, other thing like uh, I want to check amperes you can do it uh, you just have to right click go for diagram annotations and here I have selected megawatt megawatt flow if I want to select megawatt percentage rating if I want to select uh, only MV flow I can easily change my settings by uh, go for option load flow annotations uh, branch annotations and uh, whatever uh, what is whatever the requirement that I want to go for it I can select any of the option uh, for now I have select megawatt and my overflow alright what we can check now we can check uh, the load flow the load flow uh, after analyzing the load flow you can uh, you came to know uh, how how your network is flowing uh, you can check there is a yellow strip on top right it's animate flow all right if i click on animate flow you can see there are uh, there is green and orange uh, indications the green one is uh, showing the megawatt and the orange one is showing the megawatt so there if I check on generator one bus the generator megawatt megawatt flow is right uh, going to uh, to the network to 101 step up and then it's going to downwards to the load if I check on bus number 201 my flow is alright so there is no any problem with my network if you see there is a, a flow coming back to the generator or your load coming back from the load that means there is a problem entering in your parameters uh, so this is how you analyze how to check the network is uh, uh, enter with the correct parameters or all the values now what's next what I can check now I can check the percentage loadings yes uh, by clicking that blue bar on just on the right of that animate flow it's named current loadings okay so here I can see there is a percentage uh, of 9206 and uh, 150 percent so this is how I analyze my network if I see there is a transformer which uh, comes with 150 percentage that means I need another transformer if there is a 
flow of transmission line that is exceeding 106 percent or 92 percent so i need another transmission line it will come up with your uh, line congestions problem so uh, i think uh, this is the uh, best knowledge that i can give you to analyzing the load flow analysis in uh, pssc software and uh, definitely this video will help you a lot to make a lar more than larger network uh, this is just an example for you uh, to keep updated with uh, more videos you can subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my video